Researching the UN Charter can be a daunting task if you have no starting point to begin with. However, there are a few approaches that can get you going once you know the article you're interested in. But none of this begins without consulting the UN Charter, which is available online. The Charter of the UN is the founding document of the UN and guides the mission and work of the United Nations as an organization. It was signed on June 26, 1945 in San Francisco and came into force on October 24th, 1945. At the onset, you should see that it's broken down by chapters related to UN organs, membership, purposes and principles, and so on. So let's dive right in. For our first example, let's say you're researching the application of Article 109 as it pertains to the enlargement of membership to the Economic and Social Council, also known as ECOSOC. Article 109 calls for the holding of a general conference of member states to review the present charter and vote on any alterations. Each member state is given one vote in the conference and any alterations will take effect when ratified in accordance of two thirds of the vote. First, we can consult the Charter of the United Nations, a commentary edited by Seema, Khan, Nolte and Paulus. This is a resource often used here at the library whenever we receive questions about the UN Charter. It is an authoritative article by article account of the legislative history, interpretation and practical application of each and every charter provision. The book is available both in print and digital. Be sure to check with your local library to see if they have it in their collection. There are two volumes to this title. And for the sake of this article, I know it's in volume two based on the table of contents. This is always a good starting point for any UN charter research as it gives you a good overview of the article itself. Next, we'll look at the Repertory of Practice of United Nations Organs. The Repertory is a legal publication containing analytical studies of the decisions of the principal organs of the United Nations under each of the articles of the UN Charter. From the home page of the Repertory site, we'll click on the Charter of the United Nations, followed by Chapter 18 Amendments, as Articles 108 and 109 fall under this section. Then we can proceed to the bottom of the page to find the extracts containing the analysis and history. For our next example, let's say your research leads you to an article in the UN Charter involving the Security Council's work, such as Article 51, concerning action with respect to threats to the peace, breaches of the peace, and acts of aggression. You can use the resources mentioned earlier to start your research. But another option that can provide context from the side of the Security Council would be the repertoire of practice of the Security Council. There, you will find comprehensive coverage of the Security Council's interpretation and application of the UN Charter and its own provisional rules of procedure since 1946. On the Security Council's website, scroll down to the bottom until you find the section titled Repertoire. Then proceed to click on Constitutional Issues, as this topic concerns the UN Charter. From there, We'll select the actions with respect to threats to the peace, breaches of the peace, and acts of aggression, which will take us to the page with the related articles. Scroll down to the portion detailing Article 51, and you should be able to find the years when this was discussed in the Security Council. All in all, the best advice I can give for those undertaking UN Charter research is to familiarize yourself with the repertory and the repertoire. Knowing where to go in either source is an efficient way to start. If you're looking for more information on UN Charter research, check out our research guide on the Charter of the UN. You'll find additional resources, background and drafting information, and research on UN reform. Feel free to contact us with any UN related questions. You can find our contact information and links to the resources presented throughout the video down in the description below. Best of luck with your research.